What's up guys, Derek here with NovelCarry.com. Today I've got the Contour Wallet by Trabex. Uh, we're gonna jump into a review of this bad boy and go over why I think it uh, is the best wallet that I've ever had the pleasure of using and uh, could be for many of you out there, uh, the last wallet that you ever have to buy. I mean, this thing comes with a 65 year warranty that is uh, backed by a very reputable company that uh, really stands behind their product. So in terms of uh, technical specifications, uh, this thing is made of uh, leather and uh, stainless steel, uh, of which the faceplate is uh, PVD coated, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, it weighs four ounces, and for those of you guys who are not Americans, that is uh, 113 grams. And its overall dimensions are pretty darn small. It's about the same size as a card, um, which is pretty small. Um, and it comes in several different colors and variations. So uh, on the website, you have the choice of using three metal combinations. What I have here in front of me is the raw, but they also offer it with black and, uh, and gold. Uh, and then uh, you can choose on all those different combinations of leather. So what I have here is tobacco brown, but they also have a Mississippi mud, a stealth black, which is a black leather, and then a steel gray, which is obviously steel. In terms of overall design, let's go ahead and just get into branding real quick. So uh, to start off with, uh, you'll notice they prominently say Trayvax right here on the front. And they, again, are very proud of this thing being made in the United States of America. Um, and then on the back, you'll notice that uh, they have a small embossed uh, logo here. And then underneath that, they got a little surprise, which says, uh, Earn your story. Um, and you'll notice uh, there's a whole theme with this wallet of uh, high quality uh, materials and it being something that you'll carry throughout your entire life uh, and it'll wear through all the different um, journeys that you go on. So uh, in terms of the overall design um, and how this thing is uh, put together, uh, what you'll notice that you have uh, a faceplate here that is secured to a body both of which are made of stainless steel, with the faceplate being coated in PVD. So what that means is that this uh, this coating here, which is a, a darker coating, is harder to scratch than normal stainless steel. Um, the downside of that though is if you do happen to scratch this PVD coating, it does become more apparent because uh, when you scratch through it, you expose the material underneath, which is stainless steel. That said, uh, I think that this wall will actually look better as you wear it over time um, because uh, what you notice is that you'll get a, a nice wear pattern here in the back, which I've actually already started with my just tiny bit of use over the last uh, few weeks here. And uh, it'll look like a well-used product. Uh, it'll hold, I think it'll hold up really well over time. So I'm gonna walk you guys through um, how to actually adjust um, the wallet to fit different kinds of uh, different carries. Uh, so right now I have it set in pretty much the uh, the tightest setting that it'll go. So the minimum amount of cards and cash that it will carry. Um, as you notice, the pocket is pretty darn small. I'm probably a bit too small to fit my stack of eight cards here. So you kind of stick this in there and it's not gonna wanna fit. And it's not because this isn't wide enough, it's because um, the lip here is just slightly too small, so my cards will not slide in there. So uh, basically, in order to uh, loosen this up, all I have to do uh, is untighten these bolts around the edge um, and then adjust the cards or adjust these strips here on the side of leather accordingly to make the pocket big enough. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back with the other uh, wallet um, unadjusted. So um, what I was able to do off camera was uh, move these straps outwards to create a bigger pocket in the middle. And what you'll notice now is when my cars didn't fit before, they fit pretty much perfectly now. The uh, next setting that you have to adjust in this wallet is this clasp post right here. And what that does is it changes how hard or easy it is to pull this button down. So right, as you can see right now, it's pretty darn hard to pull this down even with no cash here in the back, which affects how this feels. So what I found um, is it's better to take a small wad of cash, uh, maybe uh, half of what you usually care, so we'll put half of it away for right now, and put your bills back here. And while you saw that I could put that on there uh, pretty easily, or a little difficult before, it's even more difficult now to get that engagement. Now, some people might really actually like that positive engagement here, where you know for sure that when you put this thing on there, it's not coming off. Uh, I prefer somewhere in the middle. Oh my gosh, my cards are upside down. I'm sure that was driving some of you guys pretty crazy in there. So uh, what you saw right there while I'm organizing this stuff is um, 
actually a pretty good example. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna untie this a little more. I think that's a little too tight. And that's the cool thing about this wallet is I thought that was a little too tight. So I'm just gonna push that up just a little bit, not much. And then uh, tighten this back down. Now it's just a little easier. That's that's where I really like it. Very easy to put in. So uh, what you just saw when I was uh, flipping the cards around because it was driving my OCD and seeing that this text was opposite of that text um, is how you use this card on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have your most used card out front, easy enough, pull that straight out. Really, really intuitive here. Very, very intuitive to kind of work your way through the cards. I'm going to Top Golf today. There it is. So you find it in the front by pushing what you want to the back and use your backhand to then pull that card out. So let me do that from the side here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm using my thumb to push up from the front and then my backhand is organizing. It's hard to do this from the side, but my backhand is, okay, this is the card that I pushed up last from the front. I can pull that straight out here and use it. One thing I found kind of cumbersome though was the, um, the fact that the cash strap emulates the function of a money clip, but the difference of the money clip and the cash strap is, with a money clip, you just slide your cash right in here. No uh, no questions asked, it just kinda cinches onto your cash, and you, when you put it in there, you forget about it. With this cash strap though, imagine you're at a convenience store or whatever, you put this up and you grab your cash out, okay, now I gotta put my wallet back down, and then I have to go through everything and plot what I need, and then I get my change back, and then I'm fumbling with my change, uh, maybe got something in my hand, and then now I have to pick up my wallet, slide it back here in the back, and then clasp it shut. That's not that intuitive. Now, I made it look pretty easy on camera because I've done it like 20 times trying to record this, but it isn't that intuitive. That said, there is a way to make this a little easier. So what I found easiest to do is to take my cash, and so I don't have to fumble with it too often as I break it up. So I have large bills and then all my small bills and I fold them into two separate stacks. And what that does is it makes it much easier for me to pick and choose what I want to grab when I'm going to the, uh, the register. So uh, I go here and I just grab uh, whatever I want and then pay with that. Let's talk about the, uh, the, the leather real quick. This leather is uh, actually something a little special. It's made by uh, a tannery called um, Horween and uh, it's, it's a pretty awesome tannery. Uh, they make a lot of uh, baseball mints that the Major League Baseball players use, um, and they're actually the sole distributor, or the sole manufacturer for all the leather used um, in the NFL football. So what you'll notice, I've only been using this thing for a few weeks, and um, it's already starting to show a little bit of wear, but that's the beauty of this wallet is that through time, it'll really start to create a nice wear pattern. And you can actually condition this just like you do a nice pair of shoes, which is really nice. Okay, so there are two other features that I haven't talked about yet. Uh, we have this key clip hole here, which can be used to secure the wallet or add one of their uh, carabiner clips uh, or keychain clips. And then the favorite feature, my favorite feature of the wallet, which is the bottle opener here on the front. And gotta be honest, I feel like a total badass whipping this thing out of my pocket or picking it up off the counter and uh, using my wallet to open up a bottle of beer. Okay guys, so that pretty much uh, is my full review, uh, video review that is. Uh, if you're interested in reading the full review, go to NovelCarry.com, linked below, and uh, there I have a much more in-depth review written um, that uh, you guys might find uh, interesting as well. Um, if you want to buy this wallet today, you can go to Trayvax.com and use NovelCarry10 at checkout. That is going to get you 10% off of anything off the website, including this wallet. Um, and uh, if you want to win this wallet for free though, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to this video, and uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all linked below, to be notified of when this wallet, and if you're watching this at a later date, um, other wallets and other everyday carry gear, such as knives, bags, pouches, everything, um, for uh, giveaways. Uh, we give away pretty much every product that we, that we end up reviewing. So uh, go ahead and uh, follow us there, and uh, be notified of great content and giveaways like this. Let me know what you think. See you guys next time.